All right, next up, a uh, half case of Bowman Chrome. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're picking them up. You <laughs> yeah. There are three more boxes back here. Six total. You're going to do all six, huh? Yeah. Well, it yeah. looks like there's only three boxes there. Yeah. Random teams. There they are. Oh, I have to put the combos in, though. We need a little back stand that, like, props them up an inch higher. A little riser, yeah. Yeah, a riser. Uh, Tigers, Royals, Orioles, Athletics, Twins, Pirates are the combos. Oh yeah, we're breaking. For a while anyway, tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. We might not. Yeah. Sam says we might not. Probably. Yeah, if we don't break tomorrow, that's less work on the weekend, too. Yeah, that's the idea. have to switch them. Evan White, Arizona Fall League Auto. Fongo. Oh, Fongo's back. To 150 or Mariners. Yeah, that's a couple of throwback names tonight. What, Fongo and Evan White? Sid Hartman. Oh. Didn't I just open this? You do that all the time when you're like, I swear I just opened it. Yeah. yeah. And then half the time I did and then yeah. just, just sitting there. Easy Garrett enough. Whitlock. Yeah, we usually do some... It, the, it changes case to case. Like the one we opened for the mixer, the autographs are already in the bottom packs. There's a purple Luis Garcia. First Bowman to 250. Ken Dog. <laughs> God, that reminds me of like 2000. There was a point in like 2012 or 13 where the chat would literally just tell me what to do all the time. And I <clears throat> I had to have someone in the chat be like, can you remind them of the rule and stop telling me what to do? <laughs> Sinzel to 250. <laughs> it was just being bossed around all night. Yeah. Like, God. That's what the YouTube comments are, are mostly. I know, but it was like, yeah. It's but it's people like the right, chat. yeah, right, right here. We'll do it. We'll take care of it. Don't worry. Just relax. Hey, Watch Fongo. What's happening? Fongo. I'm not sure if he's been around a lot that I've been since I've been here. We haven't seen Fongo for a bit. Christian Robinson, refractor to 4.99. Nah, eh, it's not really customer service. I don't mind customer service. Well, you got the first hit in the first pack, Fongo, so hopefully that's a Harbinger. I never remember. Harbinger? Harbinger. Harbinger. Garrett Whitlock, base auto. Sierra Chef. in the chat that said don't tell Sam what to do really like three or four times because I'm like hey can you just say it so I don't sound like a jerk 
I said it publicly. It's not like I privately say it. Right. I say this every once in a while. Every couple hours. Don't tell Sam what to do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know, little German. It's not, there's not, like, a lot going on here. Yeah. Yeah, you can see how the sausage is made. We'll be sorting. Alex Kirilov. Also, it's tiny, so... You'll be instantly Blue uncomfortable. Oh, there's a brave head. That's Acuna. Is it? I think he was up. Oh, Acuna double. Robinson Ortiz. Yeah, well, anything. That's the thing. It's not customer service like. If everybody said, hey, if everyone said the same thing all the time, I'd just do it. But it's like people shouting out opposite things or like, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, I'll just do what I'm doing. And then if you don't like it, like, you, Week, don't, have to, you don't have to buy here or be here. I guess it's like there's two types of people in the world. There's the, like, I go to a restaurant and I just order what it is. And if it's not what I want, then I just go, eh, well, we'll yeah, get that. Yeah, that's... And there's people like, can I have this, but like... Oh, Tebow to 250. Watson's cards. I'll have this, but like, I don't want this on it and that. Can you substitute this for that? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. They let people do it. I just feel uncomfortable doing that. Yeah, I will more than likely order something that like, I like want all the parts of it and then be like I want this but yeah. like and there are things I get without you know one or two things but I guess that's mostly at like McDonald's and stuff if there's like a place where I'm sitting down and ordering a, like a meal then they're like this is how we make this thing that's what I think I'm like this is how it was intended to be made so yeah. I should just eat that or not eat it Danny Jansen to 99 because all the McDonald's recipes are They've been tested, time tested through the <laughs> yeah. years. That's how the McDonald's brothers wanted you to be enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who am I to question? And now you all of a sudden you don't want pickles on your buttermilk chicken sandwich? Yeah, exactly. Practically spitting on the graves of the McDonald's brothers. If Ron and Don McDonald they came up with these recipes. Yeah, I guess that's the other thing is I just love mustard and I like ketchup. I like everything. So I guess yeah. I hated something. Like, if, they're, if it was common to put beets on, like, everything, and they're like, oh, yeah, the Big Mac has two beets on it, I'd be like, okay, I guess I have to. <laughs> Brandon Bylock, like, yeah. Sid Hartman, you're Houston Astros. Yeah, it makes me uncomfortable when they do that. But I don't know why. There's buttons. I was a... Mike Ciani, Refractor. I was a waiter. C. Rossi. Like, the, the computers, you know, you can yeah, substitute. You hit, yeah, It's not that hard. For some reason, though, I don't have any problem doing that kind of thing, like, on the... Like, if you, do you order Taco Bell through the app? No. I'll do all that stuff. So I'll, yeah. I'll make that thing exactly how yeah. I want it. If I don't have to... I'm not saying I'm better for doing it. I'm just saying I, I can't do that. I don't know why. Donate tobacco? What is that? <laughs> hmm? There was something that says like donate tobacco or something, but it looks like donate tobacco. What was that? I don't know. During the game. Did you see that? Is it an ad like in the back or is somebody like on in the, the crowd had no, a sign? No, on the bottom of the screen. Like it looks like a donation, like a fundraising. Oh, we got a gold. Oh, did I not shuffle these? No, I did shuffle. Mike Ciani gold. Not auto. Chew. Oh, I got out of it. Friggin' Cardinals. Christian Robinson, purple shimmer. Oh, Pete Alonso, base rookie. Have his prices gone up the last week since he hit his 53rd home run? Oh, oh, 
I must have just sent <laughs> set those over there. That's another nice thing about never changing your orders is don't get it wrong. Right. So like this loser just wants the plain regular Big Mac. Yeah. All right, easy. Lewis Brinson. When I was a server, there'd be people that always tried to like substitute with a thing that's expensive, you know? Yeah. Like, instead of the uh, noodles, can I just have like five times the amount of shrimp on the sh on the <laughs> shrimp Alfredo? They're like, uh, no. That's the part that actually costs money. Hey, could I sub a uh, chicken for steak on that? Yeah. Jake Cave, rookie to 150. <laughs> that's sirloin. Oh, that's a good point. Shed long. But can you taste the difference between an old one or a fresh one? I can't. Also, all really, McDonald's is all fresher yeah. now. Well, maybe it's all fresher now, but you can definitely taste a difference between like, oh, these fries or this burger has been sitting there for a while, or it hasn't. Yeah, nah, I can't. They're both delicious. I haven't gone to McDonald's for months. I haven't had like a real Big Mac and fries type thing for a really long time. I miss it terribly. Marinara sauce on the salad. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Carlos Hernandez base auto. Seriously, your Tigers Royals. Yeah, that's gross. Did they like use it as a breadstick? Breadstick, uh, like dipping sauce or what? Why? Why would you want that? <laughs> oh wow, my guy. Arizona Fall League alumni, Lindor Auto. That's cool. To 60. See your Aussie, your Indians. Love that. I saw a lot of crazy things. I, I was a server for a year at Olive Garden. The most common thing was when a table would completely stiff a server on tip. And like I saw several servers like walk out to the parking lot after the table and like yell at them and yeah. they like fired instantly. Really? Yeah. One time I was at this like kind of upscale but you know mostly just like a casual like fried chicken place in Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. And uh we were, you, the tables are cl really close together, so I was sitting, like, less than you to me mm -hmm. away from the people next to us. And it was two, like, young women, probably in, like, their early 20s. And, like, uh, we didn't hear any of their conversation or anything, but they just, like, ate their meal and, like, got up and left. Like, just, oh, like, yeah. ditched, just like okay. walked out on the bill. But it was the weirdest thing, because then after that, I was like, I wonder if we could have heard them or, like... You know, after it happened, I was like, oh, I wonder if I had been, like, really listening, if they were, like, yeah. orchestrating this, or they... Yeah, that happens a lot, actually. Yeah, it was so weird, though, because they just, like, we didn't think anything of it until the server came over and was like, uh, did they leave? Yeah. We're like, I think, yeah. I think so, I don't know. We didn't... Well, they're not here anymore. Yeah, we don't know them. weird because tipping is optional really there's no law yeah so like people could come in and just do the whole thing and not give a tip and it's like they're not yeah there's nothing you can really do no. about it it is obviously a jerk thing to and the restaurant doesn't want that's yeah, why they would get they fired because they don't care yeah yeah don't care if you get tipped or not we're, <laughs> we're paying you nothing yeah like, the restaurant was like you can't do that like we want people to come in here and eat we don't yeah. care if they tip you or not they didn't say that but that was always just a weird thing to me. As like a 19 year old that didn't really, you know, it was my first experience with like anything like that. 
And the server wouldn't even do it in an aggressive way. He just went outside. He's like, hey, is, was everything okay? Like, did I yeah. did I do something? You know, but like in a sarcastic kind of way. Yeah. They weren't like trying to fight him or anything. But they would have if they could. Yeah. <laughs> if it came down to it. Hater to 250. One thing that was funny to me is like, we would regularly drop dishes. You know, like, you just drop stuff. Yeah. You're carrying a million dishes yeah. a day. Like. And uh, one time this girl was carrying a tray, like one of those big brown trays like this with five or six meals on it and just dropped it walking out. And everybody that's in the restaurant like makes a huge deal out of it, you know? And, like. Yeah. And Half the people are drunk. And yeah. <laughs> Feltner, base auto. And as a worker, you're like, yeah, we drop. KM19 shell. Every day. Like if you knew how much food that was to the restaurant, it's like, yeah, that's like eight dollars worth, of, worth food. of food. <laughs> Davy Garcia, there's a good one. Sierra Chef, like yeah, for you guys that was one hundred and twenty dollars worth of food. Yeah. I don't know how I did that. Looking back. It was fine. I, I didn't like it, but I didn't like hate it. I was good, you know, pretty good at it. Yeah. Now I think about like if I had to go back to being a server, there's no freaking way. I can't imagine. Being no like, way. All right. Starting an eight-hour shift or whatever, like being a server for people the whole time. Yeah. I never did it though. I was. One thing I liked about it is uh, if you. When you work at a slow, a slow shift or a slow restaurant, mm. it's terrible. Yeah. But like, if you're so busy that you literally came and you don't have time to think or be bored, you're just like, oh, I gotta get this for that and this for that and this for that, and time goes by really yeah. fast. Yeah. Ate him into four ninety nine. Plus, you're walking around and you know, like, you're pretty active. That was like a catch twenty two when I worked at the bank, as a bank teller. And like nowadays, you know, when was the last time you walked in and did something at a bank? Never. Yeah. It's been years, probably. Yeah. And uh, so, like, we there wasn't a ton of foot traffic, but... So, like, it would be really boring. But then, on the other hand, it's like, well, my drawer's going to be right. Only, <laughs> only yeah. 20 people come in here today. That's true. But, yeah, that was some... And then, you know, you don't want the bank to be like, okay, well, we're just... We're going to have one person working here. There's just no jobs anymore at the bank. So, yeah. You know, so, like, it is a weird... A weird thing. Yeah. That's one thing that kids today don't have to deal with is their mom or dad going into the bank to like deposit checks for a half hour. Yeah. Like as a, when I was a kid in the 80s, even in the early 90s, you'd get picked up from school and your mom would be like, oh, I got to go to the bank. And you're like, oh. You just sit in the car because there's a line of like 10 people yeah. inside mm -hmm. the bank waiting mm -hmm. to deposit their stupid check. We just sit in the car forever and just be like, God. <laughs> that was like how I got that job at the bank. Annual de los Santos. I thought it was because he held them up and they were like, <laughs> well, you're, you're a kind of commanding presence. <laughs> uh, no, I like would talk to the bank president while my mom was spending half an hour depositing checks. Yeah. When I was a little, little kid, like five, six years old. So I like knew him the whole time. Did your parents at least let you get, like, the suckers? I don't remember that at all. Oh, really? Zach Brown, base auto. Serial 6. We get a little color infusion here, don't we? Yeah, root beer's awesome. And... Useda, Edwin Useda, East Eagle. Root beer was great until I realized as an adult that it doesn't have caffeine. Or some of them Some do. doesn't. Some and do. Then, then I realized it's just a waste of liquid. Yeah, we 
used to get root beer barrels when I was a kid. The candy. Root beer barrels? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little contours on the outside like a little barrel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I love that. <clears throat> I got the bottle caps. Mm -hmm. Duran Green Shimmer. Ronzi Contreras to four ninety nine. Stewart's, huh? A and W is always my favorite mass-produced root beer. I remember sometimes we'd go to like the pizza place or whatever, and I would get like nineteen nineteen root beer on tap. You know, they'd <laughs> have like a tap of root beer. Yeah. Charlie Blackman to four ninety nine. Hero base rookie. Fitzes. I didn't realize they said Freeman's been struggling. He's been, like, hurt or something. Hmm. Peyton Henry, another brewer. Serial 6. They said he hadn't hit a home run since uh, September 1st. I did not know that. And Leonardo Jimenez, base auto. Kuna Mankata. Gonna hit recap for you in a minute. Yeah, women's volleyball is always good. Every every women's volleyball. Every program is, <laughs> it's is a good program. Yeah. Oh yeah, we had this awesome. Oh, I thought he caught that. Just on the other side of the... Was it on the other side? Yeah. What if it, the net, like, went into his glove <laughs> with the ball? caught it. Uh, that awesome Lindor. Fall League alumni. But, like, there was still the net in between the ball. Luceda, Brown, Garcia, Feltner, Hernandez, Siani Refractor, Bilac, Whitlock. Oh, yeah, we had two insert autos in that. Evan White, Arizona Fall League. Uh, you know, like, current, not alumni. And Leonardo Jimenez. Currently enrolled in the Arizona Fall League. Yeah, it's currently taking classes. Yeah. And then some numbered stuff. Gold, Mike Ciani. Luis Garcia, purple. Senzel, purple rookie. Tim Tebow, purple. And some hot rookies too, Vlad, Tatis. There may be more of those. We'll get them if there is. Oh, hit my pitch. <laughs> 